Okay, check this out. This is the default WooCommerce checkout page and it has a big issue. I can't edit it or add new fields to it. Even if I try to edit these blocks here, all I can do is change layouts like this or disable these fields and that's it. This is a big problem if you want to add new elements to your checkout page or change something around. But watch this, I've got a new checkout page with all these custom fields added here. Not only that, you can also gather all the data from these fields right in your WordPress dashboard. The best part is that I created this fully customized checkout page with just a plugin and no coding at all. As a beginner, I was amazed at how easy it was. Also, I've been testing it for a month and haven't faced any issues. Okay, let's get started. Okay, the first thing is you go to the description, download the plugin from there. Now come back to WordPress dashboard, go to the plugin library, Click here, upload the zip file and install it. Make sure you activate the plugin. And once it's done, you'll see a new option in your WooCommerce menu called Checkout Blocks Custom Fields. Click on it and here you can choose who manages the different custom fields. I'll keep it to only administrator, but if you want, you can give your shop managers access to changes too. Now, I want to add these fields to my contact information section and to do that, let's go back to our plugins dashboard and click here. I'll name this field subscribe to newsletter and select the type as checkbox. Next, click on advanced and you will see a bunch of options here like the title on mouse hover, for hints and set positions to set the order where this custom field will be displayed. Alright, I'll save the field and to make sure this shows up on our checkout page, I'll save the changes from here. Now. I want to add a terms and conditions field or checkbox to the shipping and billing address section. So let's quickly do that as well. I'll select the type as checkbox, set the position of the field and save it. Now let's see if the field has been added. So I'll go to the checkout page and hit refresh and there you go. The new fields are visible in the context section. Another thing to know is that this plugin lets you add more than one custom field to any section of the checkout page. So I'm going to add another field here. I'll return to the plugins dashboard, click here. Let's label this field as select delivery time and change the type to select because we want to make it a drop down field. Okay, let's add time slots to choose from. For example, I'll add these options 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. and 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Save everything, return to the checkout page and hit refresh to see the changes. As you can see, the custom drop down box and options are visible and functional. Now let's customize this section of the checkout page. Let's go back to our plugin dashboard and add this field called add a personalized note. This will help our customers add special notes and text that we can add or customize to our order. So I'll set the type as a simple text field and add a word limit of 300 characters like this. This is because we don't want anyone leaving long paragraphs as text as it can get really hectic to manage them. Okay. Now let's save everything and let's go to the checkout page, hit refresh and there you have it. Now that we've added the custom fields, let's see how they work on the checkout page. But before that, adding a bunch of fields and other information on your website or checkout page can slow it down. And you don't want your customers to abandon their cart without buying, right? So my team has built this free speed plugin called Elif, which works perfectly with this plugin. All you need to do is add your link here and with just a few clicks, Airlift automatically cleans your site and runs 50 plus optimizations to improve your Google PageSpeed score to 90 plus. This means you never have a slow checkout page and always offer a smooth checkout experience. Okay, now let's get back to trying out our new checkout page. All right, I'll quickly fill in all the details and place the order. Once you get a confirmation like this, all the additional information of these custom fields is saved directly in the backend. So go to the WooCommerce orders page and click on the order we just placed. And as you can see, all the data from the custom field is available here, making it super easy for you to keep track of all the information. But there's a small catch to this and I'll be completely honest with you. This plugin requires a subscription. It offers two subscription options, a standard monthly plan and a one time lifetime option. While the monthly plan is great for short term needs, I recommend getting the lifetime option as it's a better value overall. I know it's a bit pricey at first, but here's the truth. It's an investment that practically pays for itself. Why? Because this plugin helps you optimize and monitor your checkout processes, leading to fewer abandoned carts, 
smoother customer experiences and ultimately high sales. And that's it. If you need any more help with it, then make sure to comment below. Click this video if you want to triple your site speed in just one minute. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.